the entrance antiphon. Truly the Lord has borne our infirmities and he has carried our sorrows. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Welcome you all who are here with us um, in spirit, uh, in presence at this moment, as I say this Mass, and also those who are watching later uh, in Cannock and all over Staffordshire and indeed in different parts of the world too. You are very, very welcome. We come together to offer, to offer this Mass together to celebrate our hopes, our joys, our gratitude to God, and also to bring before him our petitions for ourselves and for others. And so as we begin this celebration, we call to mind our sins and ask for his mercy and forgiveness. You raise the dead to life in the spirit, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger to whom we turn in our distress. In faith we pray that with compassion on the afflicted Give eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Now, as I've said before, I'm delighted that we've got uh, members of our congregation who have pre-recorded readings for these Masses. And so we come to our readings from Scripture today for the uh, Wednesday of week two of Easter. They're being read today by Pat Wilson. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest intervened with all his supporters from the party of the Sadducees. Prompted by jealousy, they arrested the Apostles and had them put in the common jail. But at night the angel of the Lord opened the prison gate and said, as he led them out, Go and stand in the temple and tell the people all about this new life. They did as they were told. They went into the temple at dawn and began to preach. When the high priest arrived, he and his supporters convened the Sanhedrin. This was the full senate of Israel and sent to the jail for them to be brought. But when the officials arrived at the prison, they found they were not inside. So they went back and reported, We found the jail securely locked, and the warders on duty at the gates. But when we unlocked the door, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple and the chief priests heard this news, they wondered what this could mean. Then a man arrived with fresh news. At this very moment, he said, the men you imprisoned are in the temple. They are standing there preaching to the people. The captain went with his men and fetched them. They were afraid to use force in case the people stoned them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. This poor man called the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my terrors he set me free. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called.
the Lord heard him and rescued him from all his distress. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. Christ has risen and shone upon us, whom he redeemed with his blood. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For God sent his son into the world not to condemn the world, but so that through him the world might be saved. No one who believes in him will be condemned, but whoever refuses to believe is condemned already, because he has refused to believe in the name of God's only son. On these grounds is sentence pronounced, that though the light has come into the world, men have shown they prefer darkness to the light, because their deeds were evil. And indeed, everybody who does wrong hates the light and avoids it, for fear his actions should be exposed. But the man who lives by the truth comes out into the light, so that it may be plainly seen that what he does is done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we come to our moment for prayer, petitions, bidding prayers. And uh, uh, we have so many that have been sent to us, as you can see. But what we decided to do, what I've decided to do, is that we'd have a focus of prayer each day. So any prayers that come in, sort of um, in the previous 24 hours that are sent in, we, we mention those. And then we focus on a particular area. And today... We're going to be praying for the sick. But before we pray for the sick, those who've asked for prayers uh, more urgently or immediately, perhaps I should say. Please please pray for uh, Richard, who's the brother of Harishna, who's very sick, and for his family who are worried about him. Pray pray also, please, please, for Mary and Pam, their families, who are going through difficult times at present. Please pray for John, who had a fall and is in New Cross. Please pray also more generally and very importantly for children who are being schooled at home and those who are supporting them in their homeschooling, both teachers and parents, of course. We also pray for some uh, of those who've passed from this life, for Paddy McManus, who's uh, died from the virus and was a worker on the uh, uh, high high dependency unit, Um, and also for... Betty Ganter, who is uh, from Dublin, who died on Monday. Uh, please remember those holy souls. And also, uh, please pray for Alan Avery, whose anniversary of death falls tomorrow. Pray for all the holy souls. Uh, eternal rest grant to them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. And as I said, we remember particularly the sick who have asked for our prayers. Uh, all those in hospital, of course, for Angela, who's poorly at this time, for Sam, who's asked for our prayers in particular, for Anne, who's returned from hospital but is still not well, for Bill, who's gone back into hospital but is is either home now or due to be home very soon, but he's not very well, Hazel, who's been poorly, Ian, who's uh, been treated in Walsall with the virus, Ruth, who's sick with the virus, Trisha and Stephen waiting for surgery, also for Jane who's had an operation recently, Doreen who had a fall, for Michael who's uh, making good progress but is still not 100%, Sandra waiting an operation, for Glyn, Gordon, June, Brian, Les, uh, Mabel as well who's had a stroke, Les had a fall 
and all those who are sick at this time. May God's mercy be upon them. May he strengthen them in their trials and all those who care for them and bring them to the fullness of health. fruit of the earth and work of human hands and for us the bread of life blessed be God forever by the mystery of this water and the swine we come to share the divinity of Christ as he humbled himself to share in our humanity cleanse me from my sins Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but at this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life. And the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the 
the mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Bernard our Bishop, William and David, his assistants, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Alan Avery, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, with St. Thomas More, with blessed John Sugar, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. And now across time and space, Let's wish one another the peace of Jesus Christ our Lord. Peace be with you all. On your stay, quit all his peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, quit all his peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, quit all his peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon, truly the Lord has borne our infirmities and he has carried our sorrows.
invite you now to make your own act of spiritual communion if you uh, would like to join me in these words. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul so that I may unite myself wholly to you now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I hope uh, this Mass has been a good start to the day for you and you'll have a very good day as we go ahead. Here in Cannock it's very sunny again. Uh, not always been very warm, though we have had some, some uh, very warm days. Uh, but very bright and sunny. We can hear the birds singing in the trees. Bumblebees are appearing, not seen them for years, and they all seem to be about in most places. There are some very positive things amidst uh, all the difficulty and struggle and sadness too that we encounter day by day. Uh, so thank God for his many blessings and pray for uh, all those who are in any particular sort of need at this time and ask his, we ask his blessing on every single one of us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh. 